Hey everyone, welcome to or welcome back to the channel. I'm starting the vlog off. It's Thursday night. I'm getting ready, packing and everything because me and my boyfriend are going to Florida tomorrow for spring break. I'm so excited. I'm gonna vlog the trip. I probably won't record much at the airport because instead of bringing a carry-on, I'm just bringing a personal item because if you've ever flown Spirit Airlines, you know you have to pay extra for the carry-on, which I don't really want to do. I'd rather spend the money on something that I want there like food or something yummy you know because there's just no need and we'll be there for three days and then we'll fly home on the fifth day so we leave tomorrow night I don't really need any outfits for tomorrow and then we just need outfits for like three days so I was like I'm not gonna bring a whole extra suitcase I'll just bring a carry-on so I'm like shoving everything in there and I'm definitely probably not gonna film tomorrow at the airport or anything I mean I'm gonna have to be fishing my camera out of the bag and I don't want to do that so we'll definitely record like probably when we get there slash the first day i'll probably record a little airbnb tour and yeah we're super excited to go i have to fill up this travel stuff here still and i have to put like my sunscreen and everything in there so i'm just getting everything together right now luckily i made a huge list of everything that i need so i kind of know what i need and i'm not you know doing everything right now we don't leave until my grandma's picking us up at 3 30 to take us to the airport our flight leaves at 6 30 yeah it should be it's like a short flight too it's like three hours because it's just we're flying to fort lauderdale but where we're going is closer to miami because i did not want to go to fort lauderdale because every single person i know will be in fort lauderdale nothing wrong with those people but i personally like to have a break from everybody so that's what's gonna happen i'm trying to figure out how everything's gonna fit in my bag and also if it doesn't fit kind of just like what i'm gonna do about it but i just wanted to get a start on the vlog so you guys know when we're in florida that's where we're gonna be um and yeah i will see you guys probably when we get to florida i don't think i'll record at the airport like i said but we will see what happens so i'll see you guys then <sighs> hey guys we just arrived in <laughs> Hallandale Beach, Florida. Yeah, and so we're at our Airbnb, so it's time for a tour. First up, when you walk in, you got this beautiful portrait of me. Next up, you come right over here. You have a bathroom, which is really nice. Very nice little sink and shower. Very nice, very nice. When you come in here, you have a closet that you can hang up stuff in and stuff like that. Skip the door. Yeah, whatever, random door. <laughs> then you have the room that has two beds, perfect for if you're traveling as a couple. <laughs> and, and then you also have a TV, a pink, I mean, yeah, this is pink for sure, yeah. That's yeah, pink. pink. A pink Keurig. And then you have the beautiful Bethany, which, you go out and then you have this view so wow it looks so pretty on camera yeah it does so like down that way is the beach and, and then you have Walmart, Walmart. <laughs> and then there's like some river don't know what it is though. let us know if you guys are Floridans or whatever you call it Floridians. Our flight was super insane. Our plane did six flips, but we were good. Spirit Airlines, you guys know about that. <laughs> um, it was a good flight, in my opinion. We watched Suits the whole time, which I, I don't really know, but my boyfriend caught me up on what was going on. <laughs> what would you say? The flight was pretty good. A little bumpy at the end, but... A little bumpy. Yeah. did get nauseous, but we got water. But now we're gonna unpack our super packed backpacks here. And I went and bought an Amazon backpack that's meant for traveling or anything and figured out that the good old high school Vera Bradley fit everything even better. So we ended up going like that, but we're gonna unpack because I'm nervous about the stuff being in here for so long. So, okay, we're gonna, what are we gonna do now? Um, let's go out to eat. No, actually, we ate pizza at the airport. It was so good. It was actually really good. So I was kind of nervous about it, but it was really delish. In case you guys are at the Detroit airport. Fit check. Fit check. And guess what was in my outfit the whole time? Robin eggs. <laughs> and some Cheez-Its. And I already ate my goldfish. 
on a plane. Comment down below right now. Question of the day is, <laughs> what's your guys' favorite airplane snack? Be honest. We're gonna just like chillax and probably watch. Cody Co. <laughs> Should we? Yeah. If there's YouTube, we can watch Cody Co. Okay, we might watch Cody Co. You and can like airplay it, no matter what. Oh yeah. Probably. We'll just shower, or I'll shower. I don't know about you. I don't know what you're doing. Um, That's it, you guys. We're signing off tonight, and we will see you tomorrow for the first full day in Florida. <laughs> <laughs> Turn it off. All right, next day. Ooh, wow. Anyways, we went to Publix. But we're gonna get a haul. Quiche, which I'm about to eat right now. Um, pinwheels. Which do you want these right now? We're just gonna eat everything right now. Better. <laughs> so we got Mama Chia. Of course. We have papaya, we have grapes and blueberries and strawberries, we got a chicken salad sandwich, we got some pineapple and watermelon, some more pinwheels, and then he got a sandwich. So that's our public haul. We're gonna eat and then we're gonna go to the pool ASAP because we have to wait on the elevator for two hours every time. I'm just kidding. It's a really long wait though, and there's like 20 people in the elevator, which is probably not safe, but it's whatever. We look super pale. I look as white as the walls behind me, but it's okay. All these people and not a pool chair in sight. Where are you texting? It's much later now, and as you can tell, I got sunburned. We went to the pool. I think I filmed like a little bit at the pool when we were literally laying on the ground, but we actually ended up getting pool chairs as soon as someone left. But we are about to go eat. Um, I'm wearing like this little dress. It's just like this, but I'm wearing this around my waist because it'll probably get chilly because we're going kind of near the beach. So we're going to go eat some food. Hopefully it's really yummy. Are you excited? Yes. I am excited too, and I hope that it's not too packed. So yeah, anyways, we're going to go. It was kind of overcast, cloudy today, So, but I definitely got a little bit burnt. He got a little bit burnt on his face. Just a little bit. Just a little bit, but... Yeah, so we're gonna go. So I'll film the food and everything when I'm there. I'll bring my bag so I can bring you guys along. So guys, we have decided to take the stairs because, because why? The elevator takes too long. Takes too freaking long, like what the heck. It, we were standing there for like five or six minutes before we were like, should we just take the stairs? Because at this point- 21 flights of stairs. We just, yeah, we went down 21 flights of stairs, which don't try to come for us because by the time this video is up, we won't be on that 21st floor no more. But, you know, it was way quicker than taking the elevator because there are like 20 people in the elevator. So anyways, now we are going to eat some dinner. We are gonna walk across this big bridge highway and we're gonna walk across it and then basically the beach is right there and we haven't been near the beach yet really because we just I been at our you haven't even seen it yeah so we're about to see it but we've got a little bit of a walk we got the palm trees and the sun's about to set but as you can see it's kind of overcast so we don't really know what that'll look like but should be fun this is a bit of a hard trek because it's uphill. This is where we're at. Okay. I got shrimp scampi. What did you get? Juniper burger. <laughs> this place is super nice. I'm probably gonna read a little bit out here just because I am enjoying the warm weather. I definitely got sunburned. Um, you never know because it was pretty cloudy, so I didn't really think that it was that sunny out, but it actually turned out to be pretty sunny. Sorry about the lighting, by the way. Dinner was really good. It was at a place called Juniper on the 
water, I think, Juniper on the Water. It's in like the Hollandale, Sunny Isles area, kind of right in between Miami and Fort Lauderdale. It was really pretty good. I had like shrimp scampi. My boyfriend had a, oh my gosh, you can't see me. My boyfriend had a burger and then we got like this dessert platter because it was a really good deal. And we were gonna get cheesecake, but we just got the platter. And the platter had cheesecake, key lime pie, it had this like bread pudding, that's what it was called, which I did not think would be good, but it ended up being my favorite, and then it also had a brownie. So we got that, and it was so yummy. Oh my gosh, I feel like it looks so burnt, because the camera is making it look so much worse than it is. It's literally not that bad. What was your favorite of the, the dessert platter? The cheesecake. The cheesecake. And it had like raspberry on top. So yeah, it was really good. Definitely expensive if you're in the area. It's a more expensive restaurant, but it was really nice in there. Saturday night, it wasn't too busy. Food was great. Shrimp was really good. Didn't love the noodles too much, but my boyfriend said the burger was really good, and they had good fries too. So yeah, but that's pretty much what we're doing for today. So we'll probably see you tomorrow. Uh, nothing crazy going on tomorrow. Just probably about the same thing that we did today. I'm just gonna read a little bit. I don't know if I shared the book I'm reading. Currently, it's Summer Sisters by Judy Bloom. I've heard that this is kind of similar to Mary Jane vibes. It's like a literary fiction. And when I worked at Barnes & Noble, I saw this so many times last summer and I was like, I just have to read this. And then I bought it and I was like, this is the perfect time to read it. So I read a little bit of it at the pool today. Tomorrow, we're basically just planning on going to the pool. And we're gonna get there a little bit earlier because it's just kind of really packed. Like. We couldn't get a chair the first like 15 minutes we were there, which is not that big of a deal at all because we got a chair. But we're definitely gonna go to the pool tomorrow and then dinner again. We're probably gonna find a reservation because the place that we were gonna go today, it was not the place we ended up going. It was a different place and we went there and they were like, oh, we actually closed at four. And I was like, oh, so we just kind of walked around. We walked a couple of miles. Definitely, because we also walked to Publix, which honestly, I kind of just like walking everywhere on vacation. It feels so good. And I just got a new pair of walking shoes, which haven't came yet. Or they did came. They, hello? They came, but they came today. And I'm obviously in Florida, like I'm not home at all. So, I don't know. But it's, but it's been really fun so far. And I just love laying out in the sun and reading. And like, I don't even know, like getting a sunburn, which obviously not like too burnt to like damage your skin super bad, but something about it feels good I don't know I feel like people will relate to what I'm saying but yeah so that's what we did today it was a great first day and we will see you in the morning good morning girl day is another day we woke up a while ago but we're gonna go down to the pool the Sun is pretty much out as you can kind of see it's pretty much out so we're gonna go yes i'm gonna put sunscreen on i know like my chest is really burnt every single time i get sunburnt my chest always gets the most burnt so we'll put lots of sunscreen there but yeah i'm super excited because it's so nice out and i'm really liking the book i'm reading so far so we're gonna go chill by the pool we ate a little bit he had quiche like i got a quiche yesterday i had one of them and then he had the other and then also, what did, what did I just eat? Oh, a chicken salad sandwich. And I had some fruit. And it was yummy. And a mama chia, of course. But now we're going to go to the pool. So, yep. We got some salmon, spaghetti bread. What'd you get? Shrimp. That looks so hey guys, so it's now nighttime. As you just saw, we had dinner at what was it called? Aqua Bistro. Aqua Bistro. It's authentic Italian, so it's not like Olive Garden, which everyone in there was Italian. Yeah, all we've ever had is like Olive Garden Italian or what else? <laughs> Italian. Yeah. Yeah, but we haven't ever had that. And they were all like Italian, super nice, great service, like 10 different people waiting your table at the same time. They all come over and fill up your water. Fill for up your you. water for you. Like super nice. So if you're ever in the Hollandale area, very nice. And last night we went to somewhere that was a little more on the expensive side. I think I talked about it, it was called Juniper on the Water. And it was good, but like I said, it was very expensive and they didn't give you a ton of food. So it's a nice restaurant, great environment and everything, but I would probably 
recommend going to a place like this a little bit more because they give you so much food. It is still a little bit expensive, but it's cheaper than the last place. They give you a ton of food and they give you free bread, which everybody loves free bread. What would you rate it? Nine. And the service was really good. Everybody was super nice. So that was probably the best part because they were all really nice. And this guy did like a little bread dance for us. We thought it was so funny, but it was overall a great experience. No dessert tonight. The last place had great dessert. Yeah, if it was just like dessert, like that other place was like a 10 out of 10. Yeah, if you're going just for dessert, we would recommend the other place. But if you want like a good full meal, it was good. And they gave us salad too, I forgot to mention yeah. that. And you got spaghetti. Oh yeah, and they gave me spaghetti. So I got salmon, and you could get it with vegetables or spaghetti, and it was the same price. So I got spaghetti, and I don't even like spaghetti, but it was yummy. <laughs> so, yeah. Wait, what did you got? He got fettuccine alfredo. With shrimp. With shrimp. Was the shrimp good? Yeah, it was really good. Good. I didn't even ask. I know you thought the alfredo was... like six fifty extra, but like at the other place it would have been like $15. Yeah. At the other place, I almost got a salad. A Caesar salad. And they have with salmon, and so I thought it meant like, okay, it's $19 with salmon. It was $19 extra <laughs> for salmon on the Caesar salad. I'm like, bruh, that's crazy. But anyway, it's pretty nice out. My hair looks pretty frizzy because it's really humid because there was like a storm. And it's still kind of stormy, but all day today was really nice. It said that it was going to be cloudy. But the sun was on us like pretty much all day. Oh yeah. It was It was like way nicer than yesterday. Yeah, yesterday was kind of chilly because it was cloudy, but... Also, we didn't get dessert at that place, so like... I bet their dessert probably would have been good. Too. Yeah, I feel like they would have had good dessert. Because all their, all their fruit probably was just really good. It was, yeah. Yeah, so highly recommend. That's pretty much what I came on here to say, but... We're gonna go back to the hotel. We're not gonna go to Walmart, are we? No. Okay, we can always go to a vending machine if we want candy. Yeah. We can find one. Okay. But. We should probably do that. Yeah. <laughs> and then we might watch, oh, we're gonna watch Cody Ko, I guess. That's Woo! the movie. <laughs> but yeah, so that's it. That's probably all I'll say for the rest of the night, but I got some pretty mean tan lines going on here. <laughs> and yeah. Bye! Okay, we are now back at the Airbnb. As you guys saw, we went to the beach for a little bit. Now I'm sitting on the patio. I'm about to eat some pinwheels and then I kind of want to finish my book. I don't have that much left at all, but it's like three-ish. Uh, we did go to the beach at 11, so we were there for quite some time and my chest is getting like it hurts it's so burnt i was putting on so much sunscreen and like on my face and everything too um but yeah so we just came up a little bit earlier than we have been for the past few days and we'll probably go to dinner a bit earlier today because we have to get up really early tomorrow for our flight home tonight for dinner i think we're gonna go to this place that me and my sister went last year when we came to sunny isles which is like really close to here but yeah, I hope we can go there because I really like that place. It was so good. Me and Hannah went there like a couple nights in a row because it was just yummy. But yeah, we're gonna just eat a little bit, chill for a little bit, then get ready and go to dinner. I'll show you guys my view. So, really nice today. Very, pretty much clear sky. I mean, there's clouds, but it feels good with the clouds because it's so hot outside, especially by the beach. It was so hot. So, anyways, now I'm just gonna read and eat my pinwheels and drink some water too. All right, so we are about to head out to go to dinner. My hair is literally wet still. Uh, this is my outfit. I got it a while ago. It's from Urban Outfitters. It's like this super cute little pantsuit kind of thing. I don't know. Yeah, we're gonna go to dinner now. So I'll see you guys when we're there. I'll vlog what we get and everything like that. <laughs> okay, we ended up coming somewhere else because the place we wanted to go to was closed. <laughs> and so we got some garlic knots. Go ahead. Are you gonna eat it? For us? Oh.
good. So we are back from the restaurant, and what did you give it? The food? Or the experience, or what? Yeah, oh, okay. He, yeah, you're thinking about it all. What do you think? The food was like... Well, I'm just like, I was wondering what you were asking, but the food was really good. Okay. It was pizza, though, but it was really good. <laughs> are you going to sleep? Yeah. Okay, but we liked the pizza because the dough was really good and he really liked the pepperoni and I just took the pepperonis off. The cheese was really good though. Oh yeah, the cheese was super good. We liked we liked the cheese, we liked the pepperoni. I mean, I didn't like the pepperoni because I didn't eat it. I mean, they were making everything from scratch right yeah. there. So it took a little while, but that's okay. And yeah, overall, we decided that our favorite restaurant that we went to was the restaurant we went to last night, which was called aqua bistro aqua bistro and our favorite dessert that we had and the only dessert that we had but are you shaking your butt no like bouncing my leg, oh. you know, like your leg. <laughs> we decided that our favorite dessert was bread pudding bread pudding and the cheesecake and he liked the cheesecake but i like the bread pudding the most so the bread pudding was really good and, and you didn't even want it at first you just have to say that don't you <laughs> What was your favorite part about the trip? The food. The food? Yeah. Okay, my favorite part was just being in the sun and, you know, reading. It was really fun for me. He doesn't really like being in the sun, just like laying there. I don't really know many guys who just like that. He wasn't complaining or anything or he was fine. He was just laying there, but it's not like he would probably prefer to do an activity or something. Yep. Like throw a football or whatever. My chest is so burnt, literally. It's so bad. It hurts and I'm gonna, okay. We're gonna pack up and get ready for bags. We have to get up bright and early so we can head home, but we will see you guys, or I will see you, not we. I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for tuning in and coming to Florida with us. Do you have anything to say? Bye. Bye. Say bye, girls. Bye, girls. <laughs>